Hey guys, good morning. I got a massive sore throat. So today I'm off. I'm gonna have breakfast with this one. Mwah. But then I'm gonna go and get my neck and my throat tattooed. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure you'll hear me cry. <laughs> I've got numbing cream on at the minute, hence the really tight scarf, trying to keep that sucker soaking in my skin. I'm so scared, right? Getting my neck tattooed, this side, was worse than childbirth. The things I do to look badass! <laughs> <laughs> right, breakfast? Yeah, boy. Breakfast. Hungry. Breakfast, breakfast! <laughs> since I got my neck and my throat tattooed. The reason I've left it so long is I actually got flu and I have been ill for a whole week. I'm just at the end of it now. So I've got a bit of a croaky throat, but, but I'm doing good. So I did choose numbing cream. Um, I got this tattoo done about four years ago, maybe five. Five, yeah. And this took me a year, a whole year, to go back and get coloured in. It was so Hey, actually, at least I went back and got it coloured in. I've just... I've just uploaded my unfinished tattoos video and that would have been in it. <laughs> I actually did go and get it coloured in. Um, I think because it was so prominent, I didn't want something um, unfinished that was so hard to, to so hard to hide. Neck tattoos are one of the worst. They're up there with the worst tattoos I've ever had done. But I'm very glad I got it. And I really wanted, I've, I've wanted the other side of my neck and my throat done for so long. Actually, when I got my butterfly done, I was intending to have it more on my throat. And it was only um, like a day or so before that I decided not to get it so prominent as um, I was very unhappy in my job. And I thought it was one of the first visible tattoos I would have had. So I was very much um, being cautious about work and jobs. Now I'm just like, I've, I've passed that line now. I'm... I'm in a job that I like, I can do what I want, and if I want visible tattoos, I'm gonna have them. That's just my attitude. So I've wanted my neck and my throat done for a long time. Basically, when I have my hair tied up at work, I catch myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh, my neck just looks so bare. Here is my tattoo. Don't know how well you can see that. And it is a cover-up. So this is what the tattoo looked like before. I wanted to cover it up, I wanted to get that old tattoo like gone it I don't even know what that is I literally walked into a tattoo studio when I was like 16 when I want my neck tattooed um, and I picked out this design and got it tattooed on there was no meaning behind it it had a little heart in it so I was like oh, okay that's cute I like that so I'm very glad that is now gone so what actually happened I decided that I wanted to get my neck tattooed and I decided and I saw a rough design of what I wanted and so I messaged my tattooist and she was like okay I've got this Wednesday free and this was on like the Friday I was like shit 
that's less than a week. Okay, let's do this. So I quickly emailed her like a really, really rough design and she changed it all up. Cut bits of the design I sent her, added her own bits, mixed them up. And then it was pretty much an on the day, she had these separate little designs and we put them where I wanted them, which is pretty much exactly what I want. I specifically wanted leaves on the front of my throat. I think that looks very dainty. Like it's still badass because it's a throat toe, but it's like, pretty flowers and leaves. I really liked the way that that looked. So I did piss out and I did use numbing cream. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. I have used numbing cream on a tattoo before and I was told to use Emla and I used it actually on my laser removal at the beginning of the month, which I didn't vlog, but I will vlog the next one. But I didn't use it at the top of the laser. I used it for like three quarters of it. I wanted to see if it would make a difference to the healing. Um, like if it actually affected the laser and it made the laser pain from a from a 10 to a I'd say like a four I could feel it I could feel the laser and I could feel what it was doing and it hurt but it was no way near as bad as what laser pain actually is so I decided to use it for my neck smeared it all over my neck and I had to wrap my neck in cling film which was so difficult I looked like a mummy I had it all wrapped around my neck really tight but then every time I went like this or like this like it crumpled and cr and like folded over a bit so I had to wrap a scarf really tight around my neck but it worked there were little bits of up the top here where um, where the cling film had slid down if the cream is not airtight uh, like up here then it won't numb she started at the back so this was the last bit to be done and oh it's all up here that was not numbed because the cream had not been airtight and it that those bits hurt those bits really really hurt when she got around here the cream had started to wear off so I'd say from the point of unwrapping the cling film because as soon as you as soon as the air gets to that cling film you're on a timer I say it took about an hour maybe slightly more for it to start to wear off and it was <laughs> it was round here that it started to wear off and I could feel I could feel these bits starting to hurt like if I didn't have this cream on I would be effing and blinding and screaming and there was a few little bits up here that she went over after the cream had completely worn off and it was so so bad there is no way I could have done this without numbing cream and I know that probably makes me a bit of a wuss but I've got I've got a lot of tattoos I've only had one with numbing cream now two I I've earned I've earned my pain free tattoos and it's healing up really well I don't think the cream has made any difference but yeah I am over the moon with this design I'm so glad to have an old tattoo gone I'm not gonna get it colored in I am gonna leave it outline um, I specifically wanted it not not too in your face um, but I wanted it to just I wanted it to just look like I had always had it and I think it does I think it does look like it's always been there so that is it guys my neck and my throat are done do you have your neck tattooed or your throat tattooed because when I got this side done, it was it was up there with one of the most painful I've ever had. Um, so let me know how it was for you. Are you against numbing cream? Would you use numbing cream? Have you used it? I'm a little bit of a numbing cream convert now. I feel I feel unstoppable. I feel like I my one of my recent videos, my unfinished tattoos. I feel like I can go and get all of those done now because I have numbing cream. <laughs> I'm such an old lady, like, since I had my daughter, I just can't handle pain anymore. Um, having my baby has made my pain threshold, like, I can't handle it. But that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you for being here, thank you for following my tattoo journey. That's it. Much love boobies, take care of yourself, and most of all, stay weird.